I remember that night all too well. It was a clear night, not a cloud in the sky, stars lighting up the world around me. The only thing I could discern was the frankly jarring volume of fog enveloping the road. I was on my way back from a business trip in Sacramento, and was now taking the final stretch on the road back to my city of residence, Portland. Being alone in an automobile in the middle of rural Oregon, I was getting a bit bored. I decided to turn on the radio and see what was on. Maybe there would be a talk show or a sports play-by-play, -play, or some conspiracy theorist I could laugh at. The radio flickered to life, only to emit static. Strange. From what I recalled, I was within range of most Portland radio stations by now. I started flipping through channels, hoping to find something. Eventually, I reached an outlier. sounds. I still remember them vividly. A series of beeps getting louder and louder. Occasionally a distorted voice would begin reciting random letters. As eerie as it was, and as much as I wanted to just turn off the radio and be done, my curiosity was piqued. I looked at the screen of the radio, glowing a dim orange. It read 96.7 FM. That's when, well, I'll let it speak for itself.
So that's what happened? Yes, ma'am. With all due respect, sir, that sounds ridiculous. I, I know, ma'am, but I swear on my life that's a series of events that occurred. I don't know who or what I hit that night, but it wasn't the person you found at the scene. All right, I think I've heard enough. Thank you for your time, Mr. White. Please remember everything said in this room today is on tape and will be presented in court. Goodbye. <laughs>